So have your study guide out. Here we go. Let me um we're going to go over all this together. Pay attention, ask questions. If you don't remember, you better figure it out right now. I would definitely make sure that on your note card, you have the distribution. You have zero here. And then you have a one here and a negative one here. And then what do these two percentages make together? So there you should put a 34% here and a 34% here. Then at standard deviation two and one, what did each one of these make? Do you remember? 13.5. Again, please, if you don't have this on a note card, put it there now. And then at standard deviation three and negative three. So this one was 2.5. 3, 5, and this one is 0.15%, and same thing over here because it's symmetric. Okay, and that is going to help you for this first, these first questions here. Okay, so give an approximately normal, given an approximately normal distribution with a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 5. So when you go to draw this, okay, mean goes in the middle, so 80. Standard deviation of 5, you go 3 times above that, so 85, 90, 95. I mean, and you can actually make those tall if you want. And then go 3 standard deviations below, so subtract 5. Okay, what is the interval that contains 68% of your values? Well, from here to here is 68, 34 and 34. So the interval would be 75, 85. Do you have that? You're brilliant. What interval contains 99.7% of your values? This would be 95 in your second standard deviation. 99.7 is to your third standard deviation. For, so from 65 to 95. 2.5% uh, of what values are below what number? 2.5%. This is 2.35. This is 0.15. I want to go below what number? 70. What percent of values are between 75 and 90? So I'm counting this, I'm counting this, and I'm counting this little piece, which was how much again? 13.5. So 34, 34, and 13.5 make a total of 81.5%. Can you handle that question? So you'll have one just like that. Same thing. Okay? I'm here for you. All right, then next question, same exact concept. 800 juniors took the ACT last year. The scores were distributed normally with a mean of 21 and a standard deviation of four. So again, you've got to draw it out. Got to put your mean here. Got to add four every time. So 25, 29, 33. You only go up three. Minus four would be 17, 13, and nine. And then what percentage is between a 17 and a 25? So that's easy, 34%, 34% makes 68. What percentage is between 25 and 33? So that would be the 13.5 and the 2.35. Add those two together and you get 15.85. What percentage of scores is less than 17? So here's 17, go less than. And again, that would be a 13.5, a 2.35, and a 0.15. And add all those up together, and you should get 16%. What percentage is greater than 25, 13.5, 2.35, and don't forget that 0.15. So greater than, we go that way, also 16%. Making sense, I hope. If not, sorry. The average amount in Greenville, of rain in Greenville is 49 inches with a standard deviation of eight, okay? I'm not gonna do this one, but it's the same concept. Believe you me, it's literally the same. Would you agree? If you don't know this by now, I'm sorry. But here's what you should have for this one. What percentage of data falls between 33 and 49? It's 47.5%. 
What percentage of data is more than 73? You should have 0.15%. What interval contains the 95% data? That would be up to the second standard deviation. You should say from interval from 33 to 65. And what percentage of data is below 41 inches? The percent is 16%. If you got that, you should be fine. Okay, starting from 17 on, now you're using the green table sheet, okay? I would suggest you draw it and um, then be really shade in where you're going. We did a lot of questions on this, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Sketch the bell curve, shade, and find the area. Remember, there was three ways to find area on this thing. You either find exactly that number if it's to the left, if it's to the right, subtract from one. If it's in between, subtract the bigger from the smaller area. That's really it that you really have to know. So uh, sketch the curve and shave, find the area of the probability. So here we go. Do, do, do. Uh, your Z is zero, which means it's right here. And then a Z is 0.75, so that means it's probably like right here. Okay, so here's what you do. Let me get a, a little pen here so you can understand. Different color here. So you're gonna find the area to the left up to the first Z. Well, you should all know that one. I mean, you can go on your green sheet, but what's that one? 0.5, okay? Then you go and on your green sheet and you go to 0.75 Z. So let's see, 0.75, here's 0 0.75. I have 0 0.7743, 0 0.7743 or three, four, Mrs. said is silly. And what do you do with those two numbers if it's a between area? Subtract. So your final answer is 0.2734 or 27.34%. Whichever way you write it, I will accept. Yeah, okay, moving on, almost done. All right, find the, sketch the bell curve and find the area with a probability to the right of 0 0.23. So again, here we go. Shade. Here's 0. Here's like 0.23 would probably be right here as my Z. Shade to the right. Go on your lovely, lovely little thing. 0 0.23 is 0 0.5910. Is that my answer? No. What do I do with that? Subtract by 1 because you're shading to the right. This is the area on that side. So you need to subtract from one, and your final answer should be 0 0.4090 or 40.9%. Either way, I'll accept. Next one, draw your little probability to the left of negative 1.43. So here's negative one, here's like negative two, so negative 1.43 to the left. That one's a nice one, that's right in our sheet. You literally just go to negative one, 0.43, and I got 0 0.0764, and that's your answer. You don't do anything, anything in the left. Done. So you don't move the decimal? Don't, uh, well, I mean, you could call it 7.6%, 7.64%. Either way, I'll accept either. Okay. All right, now this is just understanding notation. It's the same as up there, except you just got to know which way you're shading. If it's greater than, would you shade on a right or on the left? Shade on a right. So go to 2.83, which is probably about here. Shade to the right. Remember, anything to the right, you find it on your table, you subtract it from 1. So 2.83, 2.83 is 0.9977. That's what this side is. You subtract it from 1, and you would get an answer of 0 0.0023 or 0.23%. That's very, very tiny. All right, and last but not least, this one is this, yeah, okay, so this is working backwards. We've done this before, though. This is where I'm giving you the area, you're finding the Z. So let's talk about this, and then we're almost done. Listen carefully, you'll have two of them like this. Find the Z value that corresponds to 60.64% of the area under the curve, which lies to the right. Okay, so here's what I do. Here's zero. I know it lies to the right, 60%. Ooh, so this, wouldn't this be 50%? So 60%, it must be a negative Z already. I'm, I'm kind of understanding that. I want this to be 
0.6064. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. It's up to you. You could try to look right now for 0.6064. It will be a positive Z, but you need to know that it was a negative Z. I just told you that it's gotta be greater than 50%. So we need to include something over here. Or you could, remember this is the percent to the right. You could find the percent on the left right now by doing what? What do I subtract that one? Subtract it from one. One minus 0 0.6064 is 0 0.3976, 36. There, 3936, go on that right now, and let's look for a point three, three nine three six. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can find it somewhere. Ah, come on, honey, three nine three six, right there. It's it's a negative point two and a seven. And that makes sense. Z equals negative point two seven. That's your answer. So however you decided to do that, you might have gone to find it, find this guy, 60.64, which right here, but it was a positive 2.7, and you should realize that that needs to be negative. In order to have 60% greater, greater, you need that to be negative. All right, let's do one more like that, and we are done. Find the Z value that corresponds to 0 0.0166 of the area under the curve, which lies to the left. Yes, that's perfect. We love it when it says to the left, to the left, Beyonce. Okay, so here's zero. I want a very, 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 very tiny area, 1%. So it's kind of like right here, 0 0.0166 to the left. I want a Z right there. So I'm gonna look for a very, very, very tiny area. It's definitely gonna be negative because it's on the left of the Z. So 0 0.0166, 0 there you go. Negative 2.13, that was easy. I couldn't make this any easier. Negative two point, well I could. I mean I could literally give you the answers, but I'm not. I get, but I'm not. But I'm not. That was it. Okay, so you're gonna take a quiz. Let me stop this. We miss you, Will and Drew. If you're watching, we miss you.